Well hello, welcome to another Rider Cam TV video and today, oh I like your top by the way. Mm. Rider Cam TV merch? Yeah, get your merch on our website. Oh, or, I won't do that. Or below the video, yeah don't expose any more. No, no, no. Anyway, today we're talking about, I think you can see that, Chitoro. Oil chain, chain oilers, oil chain, mm. chain oilers. Because you've got a chain bike, haven't you? I have. I have. First time in about 20 years I've had a chain bike and uh, I had to have a new chain and sprocket fitted because the chain was dry. When I first got the bike, I decided I was going to use some kind of an oiler on it and I mm. bought an electronic one. Couldn't get it to work on the bike, a bit of a nightmare. Uh, so we didn't even do a video about it. Uh, then I've waxed my chain, I've waxed it every week, I've cleaned it, I've done all the things I thought I was supposed to do with it, but after 12,000 miles, basically it was ru it was ruined. Wow. Which is not very much for a chain. I know people who've got 26,000 miles on their chain, and it's got to come down to lubrication because the chain had black, had the dead flat spots in it and all sorts of things. So I got in touch mm. with Tutoro because I've looked at all the, all the other... No, Scott oil. Scott oil, you have to have a vacuum that's connect to your, your bike, and I just didn't want to have all that faff. But this is something else. It's really easy and it's dead simple. They do three different um, uh, kits okay. they do the Trek kit, the Adventure kit, and the Patrol kit, I think it is. So we've okay. got the Trek kit, and what they've done is they sent us two down one to fit to my bike, so we show you how it fits, and the other one is to. Um, Give away. Wow, so another that'll one. Be, that'll be the end of the video. Yeah, this is just a channel that just keeps on giving, isn't it? It is, it is. We keep telling people, you know, we don't we like to give stuff away, we don't keep it unless we have to. So, what comes in the box? Yeah. Big box, Tutoro oil. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. 500 millimetres to be exact. Millimetres? Millimetres. Oh yeah, millilitres. Do you want to yeah. buy these? Who are you? Oh I yeah, Mark. So you get that, you get a little container to take away with you on tour. Oh, okay. So that's not to just decant and then fill up, that's so that you can take enough away with yeah. you. Yeah. Brilliant. And that's a really good idea because we both tour, don't we? Yep. And touring is starting this year as well. So we are both away touring, leading tours this year. So if you want to be, just as an aside, because we're partners with... Um, Magellan Motorcycle Tours or yeah, their partners with Yeah, I think they're partners with. Yeah. Well, it's cold and my brain is frozen. Um, we are both leading tours. I think you're doing the Pyrenees, aren't you? I'm doing the Austrian and Swiss Alps. Yeah. And the uh, Pyrenees, which is French and Spanish Pyrenees. Ah, and I'm doing... Spain and Portugal in September and in October I'm doing the Grand Tour of Spain. Both of them are my favourites. If you've never toured in Spain you've got to do it. So purpose of me saying it is if you want to tour with us have a look at our website because there's a discount of £100 off for any Rider Cam TV viewer that wants to come touring with us or on any other tour within Magellan Motorcycle there Tours. You go. But leading me on to we see so many people on a tour taking massive gallons and gallons of oil for their Scott oilers or their oilers for the chain. But to have that and put it in your in your panniers or your toolbox, really, really good idea. I think so. Yeah. Okay, so what else do we get? You get a hose. You get a, a, a piece of plastic hose, which is obviously what the oil travels down. At the bottom of this, not, it's hard to show because it's inside the plastic, but there's a piece of wire and you get a wick that sticks up in the end. It's all explained in the videos. Okay. I'll just put that there, don't want to lose it. In that. their videos. In their videos. Right, okay. You get a load of sticky stuff. To, to oh, like sticky hooks. Sticky like, hooks, yeah. clips that go on your bike. Okay. You get the actual thing itself. If I, oh, I don't know whether I want to open this or not. Oh no, go on. Yeah, do it. Do it, do it. I'm not afraid. It's like Christmas, isn't it? Oh, it's very exciting. Wow. You get the actual Tutoro chain oiler. Chamber? Ch receptacle. Yeah. Oil carrier, whatever. Yeah. Okay, has a 
little knobby thing on the thing where you can you know, adjust the flow rate. This comes off, the top comes off to fill the oil, and inside here, it's, I believe, there's a little metal ball bearing that works on vibration. So as the bike goes along, the ball bearing is dislodged, oil is allowed to travel down through the, the hose which connects to the bottom, out to your chain. Yeah. So it's not a constant dripping. I've seen I've seen Scott oilers of uh, I say Scott oilers, but I've seen other chain oilers that have got flicking oil all over the place. I've got, I've seen people fill them up and then they've gone in for a cup of coffee and they've come out and it's dumped oil all over the yeah. ground. I thought I could feel it move then. Um, so what if you shake it? I don't want to shake it in case it breaks it. Okay. <laughs> it would have been shaken in the packet with um, couriers. It would have been, yeah. yeah. Go on, then you're worried now, don't you? Yeah. Oh, so you can, you can hear that. So that's obviously got something to do with it, but like Mark said, on the front, it should focus quite quickly, I'm hoping. You've got those two little um, orange indicators next to the dial. It shows you when it's shut off and when it, where it is. Oh, so that's shut, it. is it, when it's like that, and then you unscrew it? Yep. Wow, okay. Tie wraps. And you yep. get this. This is called a shark's fin. Now basically this fits on the bottom of your um, arm. And if your bike already hasn't got one or you know a cover on the bottom of your arm, this is what what you fit it to. And the hose goes through the holes and you can tie wrap it to it. Oh okay. So this hose Oh so that that's in a way of we'll show you where Mark's got it fitted so that bottom pipe goes on to just by the the is it the sprocket or the cog at the back sprocket. where the chain goes so this would for those bikes you can't get close enough would enable you to from the bike get closer yeah to where so it the hose the hose just passes down through i don't want to do it in case because this is the one we're giving away because i fitted mine it passes down through there through those holes here yeah out to the bottom and it actually goes really within 25 mil of the chain it's uh, the chain and the sprocket oh, okay. itself so that's that yeah there's more stuff in here though. there's loads of stuff huge amount of tie wraps they give you loads of different sizes um you get very small ones for actually the shark's fin right and uh also attaching the uh hose to the yeah uh bike you also get in here a magnet. A magnet? A magnet. Now that's important because when you fill fill up the um, the receptacle, mm. or if it was to be empty, you put the magnet on the top and that lifts the ball bearing inside to allow the oil to flow all the way down through wherever you've laid it to the very end. And as soon as it drops out of the bottom, you take that off, the ball bearing or whatever it is inside drops down, ah. shuts it all off. And then the so vibration then starts it pushing it down. There you go, so wow. that's really, okay. really important. So really simple principle, but so simple. Really good idea. So simple. Hmm. And this is the reason what I'm doing opening here now is the reason why we haven't shown you fitting it to my bike because there are so many hmm. variations of being able to fit it. If I just get these three pieces out, my fingers don't want to work because we've been out in the cold. You get an Allen key for the bolts to tighten the bolts up and the bolts are all nylon nuts. But you get these three pieces. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. So, that can be a sticky on, the sticky tape on the bottom so it can stick to the... I um, thought it was that light was going up if you pushed it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's an L, L bracket there. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. And it's sticky on the bottom, so that can be stuck to the um, uh, to the frame, to whatever. Okay. And that's for fitting this yeah. in, posi in a position. Right, okay. So there are lots of different ways of doing it. Now, on top of that, you've got this 90 degree, I don't know if you can see that, bolt, hmm. which this can be fitted to, so you can have it in lots of different types of angles I mean it's so versatile versatile on mine all I've used is this on the bottom of the bracket so it fits in there like that yeah but I used a p-clip uh, so which is a, a metal clip with a bit of rubber on it 
and you screw the two together and so you can have it in any kind of oh, okay. different position. It's so hard to explain. All right, and uh, and then I fit it. And I c critically though, this has to be in an upright position. So I use right. a spirit level when it was on the center stand. Yeah. So you get into the into the thing because if it's off at one side, the ball bearing is not going to lift properly. Yeah. So it has to be upright. So I'm guessing that the only thing that they could have added to improve that, if there was any improvement, is on here somewhere put a spirit level bubble on it. So when you're fitting it, you can get it into the right place. Yeah, it's probably a little bit, you only have to do it once. But so. it's really well manufactured. I mean, that's quite a Gucci bit of kit, really. But this is the best bit. Chitura have really, mm. really gone over the top here. This is the best manual I've seen for fitting a piece of kit to a bike yeah. anywhere. So wow. you get those things from Wunderlich. Yeah. You know, sometimes the pictures are really, really bad in it. This is just unbelievable. It's 48 pages, yeah. but it is so simple. It has the three different types of kits in it. The Patrol, the Trek, and the Adventure. Basically, the Adventure, you get two lots of oil, uh, two 500 mil yeah. bottles of oil. Um, with the other two, you just get one, and you yeah. get a carry, an extra carrying okay. bottle. Uh, seven key points for using the Tutoro and how it works. Yeah. So, if I just... Okay, this internal mechanism detects the suspension's directional changes and activates a high flow precision valve which allows oil to exit from the reservoir. That's how it works. Wow. All right, so it's something that is to do with yeah. vibration. It tells you... How to fill it. How to fill yeah. it, <clears throat> where not, and uh, also mentions KTM owners specifically. Oh, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. KTM owner, uh, twin owners do not install the auto on the left hand side of your bike because it's all to do with the um, uh, exhaust. Yeah. If and it all gets too hot, the oil will flow too quickly, mm. and they have different settings for winter and summer. It explains everything. Even down to the fact that, can you show that? On the yeah. top of the thing, of the container okay. here, there's a little vent, so obviously it doesn't pull a vacuum. Yeah. So they, they specifically tell you that when you pull it off, like that, and there's the metal piece inside that the ma magnet attaches to and lifts yeah. up. There's a very, very small hole on the edge here, so you fit that so it face, faces away from where all the crud Ah. So out to the left hand side of the bike if you fit it on the left rather than on the inside where it's going to suck up all the garbage. I tell you what, their manual is just spectacular. The pictures, I mean this is the first time I've ever seen it. It shows you how to fit it, how to level it, but there's pictures as well as explanations. They've taken a real good um, amount of time making sure that all this stuff makes sense. And it's really good quality, isn't it? I mean, look at that. Where else would you get that sort of manual? Like, I'm blown away by the manual. I mean, you know, Tutori, you've done really, really well there because how many times do you get a manual or you get a piece of paper to so go online and have a look? Yeah. There's video links on their website. They explain how far the wick has to be shoved inside the, um, inside the, the hose. They explain the reason why there has to be a gap. Yeah. Between it, you know, so many times you get manuals and they just go, yeah, get on with it. Yeah, and even little things like um, um, nozzle installation using the shark fin. They're showing you where to put the shark fin, how to put it. And how it, this is a, manu uh, a manufacturer's one if you want, that's already got the shark fin type thing on the bottom wow. of your. That's re it's really good, isn't it? I'm really pleased with it. Really good, and say about the auto gap and the hole and clamps and some f some flings a good thing they put on here. Yeah, oil fling is a sign of an effectively lubricated chain. There you go. Now, which oil should I use? They say as well. Yeah, and they're saying use tutorial Tutoro original chain oil, and they change it for ambient temperatures and all sorts of stuff. You need different oils. They also say that. All the oils obviously will work in this, within this system. However, they recommend that you use the Tutoro stuff 
because it's their system. Yeah, yeah. Now, two guys who run this run this organisation called Nick and Jude. Um, I've emailed them a few times. They answer the emails really, really quickly. You got any questions? I mean, you can't have questions with something like that. No. Any questions? They're fine. They'll just they'll say um, you know give you an answer really quickly. But they did say before we actually went live with our video to send us photographs of where we'd actually fitted it on the bike. Yeah. So they could say that's a pretty good place because obviously they're building up a database of where you're fitting them on bikes. Yeah. Well, you know, it's the first time. Uh, they said we recommend you fit it on the passenger side, or the left hand side foot peg of the my bike. Yeah. And I looked at that, and there was no way I could get it to right. fit properly. And I said, because I've got the panniers on it, and so I found a little place that actually fits onto the rack, the rack of my panniers, hmm. using this P clip and all the rest of the stuff. So it works really, really well. So what sort of price is it? Uh, I think. That this is about the trek in the UK currently at the moment. I think it was about ninety-five pounds, something like that. The adventure is more expensive, and the patrol is a little, little less. Yeah. And it's obviously about you buy the patrol, you don't get all the the options for fixing it. You get a basic it's, patrol is like a basic. Yeah. Then you get the, the trek is like a medium. And then the adventure has got all sorts of bits of kit in it, you know, and it comes as all standard. Um, so, yeah, I mean, well, what I, you know, I'm I'm not a chain person. Yeah. I've never had. Well, I have had chain bikes, but recently, the last few years, I've only had shaft bikes. I haven't got to worry about any of this. But there are so many things on the market, like Scott oilers, this oiler, that oiler. So many people we've seen chucking it all over the place, like you said, um, having to lube the chains up every day. This seems to be, not only is it made in the UK, um, which is really good because you're on the same time zone as somebody that you want to get support from, they do the most amazing manual and the kit looks really well made. So all this kit is about, I mean, you don't buy stuff unless you've already spoken to people and had it recommended, mm. in my opinion, you know, because that's the way it works, isn't it? Well, I've got a mate um, called Gerald who has a few bikes and he's a couple of years ago he rode across Australia on a trail bike things like that yeah. and he went Jutura he said I've got them on all my bikes yeah. and I was like well, I, wow. I've never heard of it you know and he said yeah absolutely brilliant it ex and he's convinced it extends the life of his chain because he looked at my chain before it was changed he went my god that's horrendous yeah you know and uh he said my, he's got one on his bike at the moment and he's, he does a lot of off-road biking and, and he says it just looks brand new all the time. So he swears by them. Mm. So. Right, showed you all the bits. Now we're going to show you how he fitted it. We're not going to do it specifically on show you exactly how we fitted it because there's so many different ways of fitting this tool to the bike. So mine was really, really simple and I had to use a P-clip, which is, uh, you know, one of those little metal clips with a bit of rubber around it and it fitted onto the frame but in the uh, manual there's so many different ways they tell you KTM's you've got to be careful about where they fit it and they're very good about that kind of stuff so have a look down here down here here is the Tutoro um, bottle with the oil in Ooh. Ooh. and when you fill it up you have to take this top off and use a magnet sorry you fill it up and then you put the top back on and you put a magnet on it because what as it works on vibration, there's a little ball bearing in there somewhere. He lifts it up and then he watched the oil follow all the way down here, look, all the way down the frame. You get these little clips that stick to the side of your bike. All the zip ties are already provided. All the way down to the bike. Then you get this piece here called the shark's tooth. And inside the, the wire, you'll see there's a, a piece of metal. I don't know if you can actually oh, see yeah. that. And that's so you can adjust it. So it just drips onto your chain like that. And that's it. To adjust it, you've got this little not, um, knob. knob. Knob, we'll call it a knob for want of a better word. Uh, and basically, it's about one and a half turns. Turns to open it up in the winter, and summer is different, I think. Or one and a half for summer. Whatever it is, it says it in the manual. But it works really, really well. So this has been on now for a couple of days, and my chain is looking pretty cool. How much oil have you used? Uh, I think... I don't know, it's not much. So I guess that's the um, 
the dial, is it that either puts more out, drops more out, or drops less yeah, out? Yeah, and as it works on vibration, it doesn't work unless you've got um, your engines running. And obviously, when the, vib the bike is going along and it vibrates, it allows a certain amount of oil. So the difference there in the top of the top of the uh, top and bottom there is how much oil has actually gone down through the pipe to actually get to the end. But if you look at the end, you don't get any oil come out until the bike is running. Oh yeah, very swish. Very nice, because I've had electronic ones. Oh, I've had a, I tried to set up an electronic version on, a, on my bike. Absolute nightmare, I had to get rid of it because the CAN bus system on the BMW wouldn't allow it. It was a nightmare. Got power to it, just wouldn't work. Uh, and there's obviously the Scott oiler, which you have to fit into your engine, you know, there's a, it works off a vacuum. That's just really simple. Just a bit of vibration. There's loads of that on a bike. Brilliant. So, we're going to give one away. Oh no, not another giveaway. Nick and Jude at Tutoro contacted us and when I said to them I was going to fit one and they said oh, we'll, send, we'll send two down, one you can fit to your bike, which I have done. And the other one is to give away. So we want comments on why you think you need one on your uh, motorbike. Obviously, if you've got a shaft, you don't need it, so don't bother. Uh, funniest, we'll get a, um, uh, the best sort of uh, reply. And uh, at the end of April, I think, April sound good? Yeah, April's good. April, we'll uh, send you one. That's yeah. pretty cool, isn't it? They've got to like and subscribe to videos. Like the video and there's rules to that the toby's channel. making up now as we're talking yeah. like, everything that mark said subscribe like the video and subscribe to it and tell us why channel. you think you should have one yeah and i think we'll be all right yeah so like the video give us a thumbs up and we'll uh, see you at the end of april to tell you who's won a tutoro uh, chain chain oiler <laughs>